Someone asked me a question and that was, how am I making money if I'm posting my webtoon for free on webtoon canvas platform or to pass this platform because I had shared in a couple of videos back that I'm not contracted with webtoon. I am just a regular smegular degular person <laughs> who's posting their webtoon or their webcomic on webtoon canvas free publishing platform. So I'm not contracted under them nor am I getting like a paycheck for however many uploads I make. So the way that I make money even though my webtoon is free to read on webtoon canva is by webtoon canvas ad revenue program. Now with webtoon canvas ad revenue program I shared this in a couple of videos back and they also have this information on their website as well. So take my what I'm saying with a grain of salt because they might change stuff I don't know. But any hoodles to apply for their ad revenue program which is basically you get money by however it's like YouTube you get money when people like with the ads and whatnot so that's literally literally the thing with webtoon canvas canva if I get more like people to view my comic I get more money through the ad revenue program that way I can still have my comic free to read online for like people who are in like a budget constricted kind of thing and they still want to be able to read webtoons but still want to be able to support me webtoon canva has that ad revenue program so that i can get money through views now in order to apply for the ad revenue program i've i had to reach like a benchmark of a thousand subscribers and i had to have like forty thousand page views <coughs> Excuse me. I had to have like 40,000 page views and then I could apply for it and then afterwards um, I'm still a I'm still like a part of the ad revenue program even though my page views has dipped but yeah so I was on I was doing this TikTok live stream a little bit ago and someone had also asked me how much money do you make and oh my rabbit Wilbert you go downstairs no no there's cords up here bad bunny Wilbur, you know you shouldn't be up here. Downstairs. Downstairs. Down, down. Go downstairs. Go on. Go on. You can't be up here. There are cords up here. Go on. Downstairs. Downstairs. Go on. Go. Thank you. Sorry, Wilbur came upstairs. What was I saying? Oh, so yeah. So, I ended up asking them. I'm like, well, how much money do you think I make? You know, and then they're like, well, your art's really good. So I bet you make like $80,000. <laughs> and then that got me thinking, I don't, I don't make $80,000 with my webtoon because it's not necessarily my, it's for my situation, the amount of money I make and how my art looks, those two things aren't necessarily relevant where some people look at my art and they're like, oh, you must make a lot of money. And then other people might look at other art and be like, oh, that's probably not making a lot of money. It's a lot more deeper than that. <laughs> it's the amount of traffic. And then for, you know, Webtoon Canva, the amount of money I make depends on the amount of traffic that I can get and the people who are viewing those ads. And you might be wondering, well, your art's really good. You must get a lot of traffic. If I don't market my stuff enough, I'm not going to get a lot of traffic necessarily because, you know, Webtoon Canva's doing their own thing and I'm not contracted under them so you know they aren't necessarily pushing my stuff and I don't really really know if they have like an algorithm I'm just speculating but anyways so that gets me on the thought process is that why a lot of people feel like their comic or their art isn't good enough because they're not getting the traffic and it's like it's not necessarily that your art's not good your art is beautiful you know beauty is in the eye of the beholder what might look good to one might look bad to another and I know a lot of people didn't necessarily like how One Punch Man's webcomic looked, but a lot of other people did like how One Punch Man's comic, comic looked. You know, some people liked the art style, some people didn't like the art style. So I get comments sometimes where people are like, no, you have to have good art in order for your comic to succeed. And I'm like, art subjective. <laughs> What's good to one might not be good to another. You know, and but I think they're probably saying something else that I probably might not be understanding because my brain's thinking in literal instead of general. I don't know. But anyways, so for me, I I try to share with other people like, hey, just because you might not be getting a bunch of views does not mean that there's something wrong with your comic. You know, does not. It, it, 
I don't know. It's just because it, then when I tell people, you know, the amount of money that I do make, and then they're like, oh, there's no hope for me. And I'm like, well, you're making me feel bad because <laughs> I'm enjoying what I'm doing, regardless of like the monies, even though I do want to make monies from my work, but I don't necessarily want to, I don't want to, I guess, commercialize my work, meaning like I don't, I don't want to have to like have my income predicated on how many stories and chapters and episodes I could push out. I just want this, just, I just want to draw and it make me happy. And if I can make money from the side with it, that will be great. You know, I don't, I don't want my money to be based on how many chapters I come out with because then I'm not going to want to do the story because now it's just like, this is no longer fun for me. Other people are different, but for me, I'm like, I, I rather just the income be somewhat passive and I just market my stuff and go about it that way I'm doing a whole bunch of rambling but yeah I did share like how much I made with half a million views on webtoon canva a few videos back 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 if you want to check that out so hopefully hopefully what I said was helpful I don't know um, if you do want to know, like, know, like my marketing technique, I do have an ebook that's coming out and I do have, I share like some tips in my, in my other ebooks that I have on my spring store connected to my YouTube page. It won't let me connect it to these videos and I don't know why. Maybe I did something wrong, but yeah, hopefully that does help. And I share a lot of this information on my blog too. And maybe I can do like a video. I use Pinterest, which is basically, I just post an image on Pinterest and add the link and then I can drive traffic that way. And that's what the ebook is basically going to cover as well. So yeah, I hope what I shared was helpful and hopefully you guys just keep having fun. Keep keep drawing your comic or don't do whatever you want. I'm, I wanna have fun and be happy and draw my comic. So yeah. As I mentioned before, not even in the camera, as I mentioned before, Yugi gifted me this drawing tablet. Now, some people who are new to digital art, they might like to try using a graphic tablet. There is some hand-eye disconnect when using a graphic tablet. I've gotten some comments where some people were like, I, I got used to it in about like a week, and others were like, I got used to it in about a month. So feel free to use whatever you like, but Yugi, this graphic tablet, the Q6 drawing tablet, connects directly to the phone. You can see the cruiser right here. So there is some hand-eye disconnect, but if you are new to drawing digitally and the phone screen is too small for you to work on, you can definitely use that. And if you're wondering, can I still like use my touch screen? You can. So you can either use your fingers or you can use Yugi like that. You can use pen styluses like let me show you this is another one $17 one that I got off of a uh, TikTok shop it connects Bluetooth this one doesn't need a Bluetooth connection and it's not battery powered so I don't have to worry about it dying on me <laughs> this one I do this one I don't this is like a dollar one that I found at Walmart so I can use this to draw directly on the screen you see like that so this also doesn't need a Bluetooth adapter or anything like that, nor a charger. It just draws easily on there, so that's nice. But my Queenie, she didn't really like this ballpoint thing. I don't really either, but some artists like to use their fingers to draw. I like pen styluses because they help stop my hands from cramping. <laughs> and then, of course, there's this one. Add from Jot Pro or Adonit. Adonit. And it also has one of these ones. This also doesn't need to be used as a charger. It doesn't need to be charged. And you can just draw directly on it. But there are some gaps, as you can see. There are a few gaps, you see, when I was drawing. So it might take some getting used to, but this is also an option. And this is super, these are like super old too. <laughs> these are super old too. 
I hope I was in frame when I was doing all of that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Adona actually reached out to me on IG because they saw my post and they are going to send me a pen stylus for me to test out and use. And then they also have a coupon or discount code that I will be able to share with you guys too. So hopefully I'll get that here soon and we can do a little updated video comparing uh, the pen styluses and then also like seeing which one, you know, you guys might like. My office is still a mess, <laughs> but it's fine. Let's go check on Chio. What the matter? He did just eat? Yeah, yeah. So cute. Look how cute you are. Look at your face. Look at your face. I love you so much. You're so cute. Hello. He's like, feed me. Put more in there. No, honey. The doctor said that you can only have a certain amount. So you gotta wait till 3 o'clock for your next food time, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I guess I no longer have privacy.